I am planning on getting some form of something to go behind here because it's stressing me out the fact this genuinely looks like a padded cell. Although there are no pads, so you get what I'm talking about. Hey guys, George Alexander here, and today it's the 2nd of October. Yes, it is. And I thought, seems it's a new month, I would do something really, really original. Okay, so just don't be shocked at the originality of this video, please, because, you know, I don't want others catching on to my original idea. I went into London the other day and went shopping and I thought why not be really original and do a September favourites video now it's in October and you are all going to enjoy it so let's go. Okay so the first thing on my list which I didn't buy the other day I did buy the other week if you've got me on Twitter you might have seen it but it is the new iPhone 8 plus. <gasps> it's gorgeous. That's what well, this is the box. I didn't just buy the box. It's not like when you go to an arcade and you see an iPod box. Do you remember those days? God, I miss being a kid. So this is the iPhone 8 Plus. It's not really too dissimilar from the 7 Plus. Before this, I had the 6S, just a normal phone. And so I kind of wanted a... I've always wanted a bigger phone. I don't know why. So I pre-ordered this the other week. Um, and then I was able to go and pick it up. When did it get released? Like, <clears throat> was it last Friday or like a week? No. Whenever. It was released... A couple of weeks ago and I was so happy with it and to be fair when I first got it I was like because the size is different obviously from the having the six but I really really like it I like and I've got I just really like it and it's got this is um I went with the space gray although it's kind of black I think the space gray is supposed to be the side part but as you can see look there's you oh don't break the illusion that you're actually there and not really me talking to a camera in my room yeah I like it as I say, I never had the 7, so, or the 7 Plus, so I don't know how, I know it is pretty similar, but it was actually cheaper for me to buy the 8 Plus rather than the 7 Plus, so I'm not going to say, oh no thanks, I'll have the more expensive older one, I was going to get this one. So following on from that, the other day I went into Selfridges, woo, look, yellow bag, that TV show that was on ITV, I think American people watch it as well, I don't know where you're from, do you watch it, let me know if you don't. There we go. So I wasn't sure what type of case I wanted to get for this phone. Um, my old phone I did have, well, I've got four of them in that drawer there. I would move and get them out for you, but I have nothing to hold the microphone and so it's literally in between my legs. So I just decided to stick really boringly and just get the, uh, the Apple iPhone 8 Plus leather case. I felt the need to put it back in the package for you guys just so I could get it out and it would be really exciting. We can share the moment together even though I've had it on my phone for about three days. So this is the case. It's really, it's not too thick. As I say, I did have my old phone. I had the Lumi cases, which I did review on, which are great. But I spoke to the guy in Apple and he was like, yeah, like for the iPhone 7 Plus or 8 Plus, the 8 Plus versions, it's bulky enough. So having the the light on the back is also, it, like it'll be ridiculous. So I just stuck with the leather case. How much was it? Jesus Christ, why'd you... I only bought one item. So that was £49. I didn't realise that. Okay. It shows how much I listen when I buy things. I'm just like, yeah, just take my money, please. Um, so this is the case. It's literally, um, I wanted to get, I prefer the case on it. Although I do like the back of the iPhone 8 because it's kind of got the glass. But I am the most clumsiest person in the world. So this is probably a lot safer for me to have. So as you can see, it looks exactly the same. You can't really see that. Oh, you can see it. Oh no, you can't. There it is. Look, there's the Apple logo just to be like, even look, I'm an Apple user. Yay, look at me. I'm a massive wanker. Okay, next up, I went to Versace and I was really desperate for underwear since I moved here because I just kind of threw things in a case when I moved down, um, moved down, yeah, from um, Liverpool. So, I didn't bring everything and I was like, damn, I need underwear. And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to splash out and buy some. And so I bought these Versace underwear, which, yeah, I don't know why. This is such like an, it's not an appropriate underwear. You know, like we, as British people, I think we're a lot more reserved. Like, oh my God, he's showing me underwear he bought. Like, I'm, I'm not stripping. Don't worry. But yeah, so I got these and I really like, I do have a white pair of these, but I really wanted the black ones. So they're cool. They've got like the gold banner and then the Versace sign on. And they're really awesome. So... I'm really happy with these. As I say, I have the white ones. So if you're ever looking for underwear, guys, girls, these were 
£35 for a pair, so I didn't think that was too unreasonable. I obviously think that I am someone or something special. I'm spending money like bloody keeping up with the Kardashians. But hey ho, life's short. And you got to, you can't spend it on your dad, can you? Wouldn't that be really awkward if you could and then knew everyone like who's dead has got no money? Because they've all spent it. And the final shop I went to the other day was Harvey Nichols. Hello. I needed some new jeans and I was desperate for a new pair of black skinny jeans because my ones are like, you know, the proper skinny jeans so they could get when they're washed, they could start to fade and it was really stressing me out. So I bought myself some new ones. I'd never even heard of this brand, um, but I'm not very up on like too many brands. They're called True Religion. Um, I was I was looking to Levi's, but they didn't have any in the skinny, so I went with these. I mean, they're just a pair of black skinny jeans. I mean, I don't know why. You know, isn't the, the internet weird that I feel the need to show you things that I bought? So this, <laughs> that's it. True Religion. Can you see that? Probably not, because this has got the word there. Hello. True religion. So yeah, these are awesome. I really like them. They're a really good fit. And how much were these? They were 165. I mean, I'm I'm not saying go out and spend 165 pounds on a pair of jeans, but I wear my black jeans a lot. So I will, they will, they will have their money's worth out of them. So I do understand that you could just go to H&M or Primark and buy some for 30 pounds. But as I say, you only live once, right? On a second note, I thought, you know, since you've all been screaming and asking me for it to do it, and nobody's actually said it, but I thought, you know, to really add to the fact this is the most original video ever, we could do a house tour of my house that I'm living in with other people that I'd never met before until two weeks ago because rent in London is ridiculous. So let's take you on a quick journey of this house that I've moved into. You can see it, you can pretend that you like it. It'll be really short. This isn't a Zalfi house. I don't have a hundred bathrooms or twenty-nine bedrooms or a tent pitched in the garden or uh, no, it's not running around. So don't worry. This isn't going to be like I'm just reaffirming. This isn't going to be one of those house tours that people put on to prove that they've got a better house than you. You probably all got better houses than this one. Let's go. So let's start off in my room. It's. I'm gonna turn this around, it's really messy, but you know, that's because I'm just filming this video. So as you can see, really, <laughs> I mean, the lighting and the setup for these videos is second to none, I think you'll find if there was an award to be won for, you know, behind like production value, I think I would win in a heartbeat. So this is my, it's small, but I really like it, which is, what people with um, small rooms say to make themselves feel better about themselves. <laughs> so this is my seat. I like it because the TV's right there. So like, hello. Oh, why is this so slow zooming in? This is really dramatic. I don't mean it to be. So as you can see, look, there's my mic. There's everything on the bed. TV's there. That's great. It's a smart TV. So I have Netflix, which is even better. Then we have me. Don't break the illusion. You're real. You're not a camera. And then we have my favourite part, which is the Harry Potter corner. So I have all my Harry Potter books. Next to that we have my Xbox games, hello, and we have Hendrix, which would have been on the list, I'm obsessed with Hendrix, it would have been um, on the favourites list, but I can't move it, as you can see, because it's holding these up. So yeah, there we go, these are some drawers, some windows, that's not a window, that's a mirror. Then we go into here, this is the, I hope you're ready for a, like a non-sweet freak out of the size of this bathroom, really, this is like crazy. <laughs> Would you look at that? It's just a window. No, it's... <laughs> we have the shower. I really like this shower. This is like... Look at that. Whoa! I really like this bathroom, to be fair. I kind of like the white. It's kind of, you know, clinical, um, mental institute. So this is really kind of like my vibe. Um, and then we've got like a towel row with towels on that are really nicely hung up. And we've got a toilet with toilet roll. And yeah. And this, look, there's just thoughts of what's under here. Just absolute crap. But you're all really interested. That's how this works, that's how YouTube works. I show you things, everyday mundane things, and you will really enjoy it. That window should be open. Let's get some loxygen. Loxygen? Oxygen. Just out of curiosity if anyone actually cares. I live with four other people at the moment. There's two rooms that are still going. Um, 
Myself and my other housemate downstairs, Chris, we both have en suites and the other rooms share two bathrooms. So I won't go into their bathrooms because that's their bathrooms, but I will, I'll just show you. There's another bathroom. This is a bathroom and it's got a shower there. Then we have one room here. We have a hallway with some art that's basically... Is that the same artwork? No. Okay, but it's by the same artist. We have a window for some natural lighting. These two rooms are available, guys, so you know, you wanna, if you wanna live with me, we can, we can arrange that. Going downstairs here, these lights are all automatic, you see, that's great. We have another room here, another bathroom. This is for those that are downstairs. Then we have, have we got lights here? That's the bathroom light, right? Okay, there it is. Not that that's made any difference. This is the communal lounge area, which as you can see is really tidy. We've got another room there and another room there. And we all sit down here um, when we've all got time. It's weird because people work different shifts in different hours. But when we do, we all do kind of get together and we'll chill and watch. We've been watching Dr. Foster. I've got one of my housemates, Adib, to watch Dr. Foster. He's obsessed with it. And he's like, when's the next episode? And I'm like, exactly, it's Tuesday. You better all watch Dr. Foster if I'm not ready. Also, fun fact about this house is um, this room right here, which is a bedroom, is, um, well, it's probably not the bedroom, it's all the whole house, it's haunted, which was nice to know. We found out the other week that this house originally before, because this is a new, this is all newly renovated, like a couple of months. This used to belong to an old man, and that used to be a garage. Um, and the old man killed himself in his car. Um, which was also led by the fact that Rachel, who lives in this one, she was the first housemate to move in on her own. She was on her own for about a month, and she said, like, these lights that are all, um, you know, automatic. There's one up the stairs there. And she said that one, they were down here, and that one turned on, which is really scary because you have to literally be up there to turn it on. Um, and I live above Chris's room, and um, also I've had like weird things, like noises and stuff, when because I work shifts, so usually in the day, because I've been working a lot of like later shifts, and in person in the house, and. I've had weird noises going on, and I've also, I'm pretty sure it was like the second night I moved in, the first night I moved in, I swear that when I was like, I heard some whisper in my ear, but that's another story. But yeah, so that's just a thought as a little added bonus to this house, that it's haunted, so yay, most haunted, here we come. This is the kitchen, I really like the kitchen, I kind of like the colours, I like the glossiness of it. Um, so yeah, we've got a big cooker with loads of different, that's also, do you know one of these is actually a microwave as well? No, I'm making that up. I thought one was a microwave. Actually, no, all, sorry, all three of them are ovens, but one of them was a grill oven, that really excited me. Then we have the other side here. These, we've got two fridges, little sit down area. We either sit there or there. Some people take, sometimes I take my food into my room, like you all really care. And then this is the garden, which actually is a decent size. We can go out. Hope you're ready to hear the M25. We live right near Heathrow and the M25, so you're about to hear a lot of noise. Let's go. Hear that? Yes, you can't even hear me. So this is this is the garden. I really like this garden. We have a gardener, which is handy. This is the back of the house. Wow, look at this, living in the laps of luxury. Um, so I kind of want to, I was saying to everyone that we live with, we should try and get like some lights to put up above here and like a canopy or something, you know, like something over the top and we'll give it like a clean, because like in the summer, this would be really great to have like parties and maybe we could have like, you know, like a hot tub or like a DJ bar or something there or a barbecue and have all this as like a really cool area. So that's something definitely that we can we can look at in terms of it. But there's the house. Do you know what? It's a decent house, to be fair. And everyone that I live with is really sound. I was like, I had to tell them, by the way, um, just in case any of you hear me speaking or walking around with a camera. I'm not insane. I have a YouTube channel. So there we go. There was my house tour. I hope you enjoyed visiting this small house that isn't 1,700 bedrooms and didn't cost over 2.5 million pounds. Let me show you how much money I've got. Yay. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got some more videos coming. They are in the pipeline. It's just when... I'm working at the moment, so I'm just trying to write down and work out when I'm doing what and what's going, how I can kind of get around it and stuff. And but yeah, there are videos coming. Don't worry about that. So thank you very much for coming back. Thank you much for returning. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got any ideas for videos in the comments below, let me know. And yeah, until next time. See ya.